Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. After a crazy night of NBA action, we're forced us to lay off a couple of picks because of some late injury scratches. It is once again time for me to release my NBA picks of the day. We did win our lone pick that I ended up locking in last night, so let's see if we can keep the streak alive here this evening. Uh, a couple more NBA picks of the day for you here tonight, and one of them is the Chicago Bulls heading into the city of brotherly love to play the Philadelphia 76ers tonight. Bulls come in as an 8.5 point favor in this one, total of 204. Now, big news for this one is the injury situation for Chicago. It looks like they will be without Pau Gasol tonight. He's nursing a couple injuries. And uh, they could be without uh, Derrick Rose as well, who had to leave uh, their game a few nights ago with knee tendonitis. And if that's the case, uh, probably going to lay off the spread here. This one instead go with the total, which they think is probably a much better wager here at 204 points. Bulls is pretty good on offense, cashing or at least uh, scoring 100 points in the last uh, 12 or 13 straight games. In fact, uh, but their defense has reverted back to the bad Chicago Bulls defenses. In their last three games, they're giving up an average of 120 points per game. And while Philly obviously has trouble scoring the basketball, Chicago could easily revert back to a good team here tonight. I think the over is actually a pretty good play. It's been a pretty solid bet for both of these two teams here recently. The Bulls have cashed the over in five of their last six games, as well as five or six of their last seven on the road. The uh, Sixers have cashed the over in six of their last seven home games, as well as four of their last five games overall as well. So 204 points uh, with the way the Bulls defense has been playing here recently. I could see Philly getting to the 95 to 100 point mark here in this one. That might be all it takes here. Here. Take over 204 in that one. Next up is the Sacramento Kings and the Utah Jazz tonight. The Jazz come in as a two and a half point favorite at home in this one, total of 200 points. Now, both of these teams played last night. Coming into this one, they both have winning ATS records coming off the back to back. Utah 5 and 3 against the spread, the Sacramento Kings 5 and 4. However, the Kings have yet to win a game straight up on the second night of a back to back. Of course, they lost that double overtime game in a pretty embarrassing fashion last week against the Dallas Mavericks on the second half of a back to back. But tonight, coming into Utah, I don't think they're going to win this one either. The Utah Jazz are 11-7-1 against the spread when playing at home this season. There's also a chance they could be getting back Derek Favors here tonight, who was game-time decision last night, but held out possibly because they knew they had the back-to-back -back here tonight against a guy like DeMarcus Cousins where they'll need him to guard him. Rudy Gobert's already back playing well on this one, so even though the Kings probably know they haven't yet won, they definitely know they haven't won uh, a game yet straight up on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. I don't think it's going to be here tonight. The line has already moved about a point in favor of the uh, Utah Jazz since it opened, so that makes me a little bit more lean towards that one. Also, Sacramento been absolutely atrocious this season on the road defensively. They're the uh, worst team in the league currently giving up over 110 points per game on the road this season. On top of that, giving up about 116 points per game in their last eight games overall. So I think laying the points here at the Jazz, minus 2.5 is the way to go in this one. So add those to your NBA picks tonight. Best of luck to you on that one. Make sure you check out my play tonight as well on the Golden State Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers, the last game of the evening. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.